welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here it is monday so it that means it is meal prep day this week i am going to follow the purple plan on ww i'm doing a test run a trial run i am not switching plans i've been getting a lot of comments about why I've chosen to switch plans. I'm not switching officially, I'm switching for the week because ultimately that is my goal is to move over to the purple plan. It lends itself really well to my clean approach to WW, but I need to make sure that I'm able to keep my portions in check and also that I feel that the purple plan is a good fit for me. So in order to do that, I need to give it a try. So this week, Monday through Friday, I'm going to be eating on the purple plan. I will be filming the entire thing and sharing that with you once the week is over as well as a weigh-in update. So this meal prep is geared a little bit more towards the purple plan, but of course fits into any color plan as everything here is WW friendly. We have breakfast, lunch and a snack and you guys everything sounds incredible i cannot wait so without further ado let's jump into this week's ww meal prep <music> breakfast this week I'm going to be making a five minute oatmeal power bowl I'm going to show you how I'm going to put this together for the week and then we're going to put an entire bowl together because this is going to be my breakfast this morning so let me show you first what's in the power bowl and then what toppings I'm going to use for your power bowl you'll need some almond milk or milk alternative of your choice rolled oats these are from the thrive market the link for thrive is always in the description box right now they are shipping quick i ordered and my order shipped the next day so they're right back on track their organic rolled oats are my very favorite that's exactly what these are you also get 20 dollars worth of free products when you join the thrive market so the link to join is down in the description box I highly recommend checking that out you're also going to need some chia seeds ground cinnamon ripe bananas as ripe as you can get them the riper they are the sweeter they are and then we're also going to need some water and then for oh and sorry flaxseed so in the recipe it says you can add the flax meal directly into the oatmeal but it will make kind of a flax egg which is kind of like a chia egg a little bit of a gummy mix so i'm going to top my bowl with the ground flax seed, but it is figured in the points of the oatmeal bowl so i wanted to show that to you as part of the bowl but i'm actually going to sub it as a topping and i'll i'll put this all together for you in the video here and then for other toppings i'm going to do some unsweetened toasted coconut flakes some sprouted pumpkin seeds, and some fresh blueberries. So let's get started on our breakfast. So let's put together our first power bowl. I have this pretty bowl for this morning, and then I have three of my meal prep bowls for this app for the next few days worth of the power bowl. I will link these bowls down below for you guys. So in my bowl, the first thing I'm going to do is take my banana. I'm going to massage it just a little bit in the skin, and that helps just mash it up a little bit easier once we do add it into our bowl. And that's definitely important to do if your banana isn't quite all the way ripe before you go to use it if it's a little bit on the green side if you massage it a little bit in the skin of the banana it really helps it ripen and smash up a lot easier so go ahead and just give it a quick mash in your bowl you want to make sure you kind of have a paste sort of a banana paste and then to that we're going to go ahead and add in our ingredients so i have one tablespoon of chia seeds i have one third cup of water one third cup of my organic rolled oats and remember to always buy your oats organic they are heavily sprayed with glycosate which is the active ingredient in roundup so always make sure your oats are organic we're going to add in some cinnamon and this would be kind of to your preference the recipe calls for about a quarter of a teaspoon but i love cinnamon so i'm gonna put a little bit more than that and two-thirds cup of whatever milk you're using and then you're gonna give this a stir you want to make sure everything is combined those chia seeds will start to soak up the liquid and they'll become kind of gelatinous which makes them really really easy to eat and they are so incredibly good for you and then you are going to cover this and put this in the refrigerator preferably overnight i do not have that much time today if i'm going to have this for breakfast 
that's why I wanted to make today's bowl first. But I'm actually going to go ahead and get this covered and in the refrigerator while we put together the rest of our power bowls. So I'm going to start putting together the rest of my bowls. I'm going to do three more bowls. So let's get these put together so we can get these into the refrigerator. While our bowls are in the refrigerator, I'm gonna to put together the toppings for the Power Bowl. So I pulled out some of my little reusable cups, and in my cup, I'm going to add all of my dry toppings. So first, I'm going to use some of these unsweetened toasted coconut flakes. Look at that, yum. I got these off of the Thrive Market. I'm only going to put in a very small amount just because these do have quite a bit of points. I know it's very bizarre because it's just coconut, but really it's maybe half of a tablespoon of the coconut flakes. And then I'm going to put in this same container one tablespoon of my pumpkin seeds. I picked these up at Costco. So I'm going to do one tablespoon of those and the one tablespoon of the flax meal that I'm going to add to the top instead of actually putting into the oatmeal bowl just so it doesn't become kind of that flax egg. I don't really care for that consistency very much. And we already have a little bit of gelatinous from the chia seeds. So there are my dry toppings for my bowl. And then I'm just going to add just a tiny bit of cinnamon to the top so I can have that little extra bit of cinnamon when I go to put my bowls together. Pop a lid on that. And then there are all of the dry ingredients. So it makes it really easy to take it with you because everything is put together in one little to-go container. And then I have my fresh blueberries here and these little mini snacks size Ziploc bags. So I'm going to just put in about a half of a cup, not even a half of a cup, maybe, yeah, less than a half of a cup. I don't know, there's zero points, so however many you would like, into a little baggie here. And these are going to go with my dry ingredients. And this is what is going to top my power bowls. And then when I go to eat it, I'll go ahead and add my toppings. And you'll see that when I put together this morning's breakfast. So I'm gonna get the rest of these for the other two bowls ready to go. So here are my bowls. So I have my three power bowls. I'm gonna go ahead and get those in my refrigerator. Essentially, it's like overnight oats. You'll keep them in the refrigerator and then we're actually going to warm them up before we eat them. But basically, you could eat them warm or cold, similar to an overnight oat. I have my three bags of blueberries and my little container of all my toppings. So really, really easy. I'm probably going to pair this with a boiled egg. I did hard boil some eggs in my Instant Pot. So I probably will pair this with a boiled egg for a little extra bit of protein and zero points on the blue and purple plan and only two points for that on the green plan. So for the Power Bowl itself, and this does not include toppings. The only thing it includes is the bowl and the flax seed. It is five smart points on both blue and green and two smart points on the purple plan. Now my toppings that I chose to add to my Power Bowl is one point for the pumpkin seeds and one point for the coconut flakes. And then of course it's zero points for the blueberries. So with the toppings, my bowl is seven points on blue and green and four points on the purple plan. But what a fabulous, fabulous breakfast. So let's put together one of these bowls so you can see what the completed Power Bowl looks like. So this is the one we tossed in the fridge. Look, it's already solid and it's, the chia seeds have already started to become gelatinous. So I'm actually going to pop this in my microwave for a couple of minutes until it is heated through. I warmed mine up. Again, you can have it cold if you would rather. So now we're gonna add our toppings. So first I have those little bit of those toasted coconut flakes. I love that these are toasted. It just really brings out the flavor of the coconut. I purchased these off of the Thrive Market. I find that they have the most affordable price for the coconut flakes. And again, that's linked down below. I have pumpkin seeds, one tablespoon worth of pumpkin seeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to be so good. These pumpkin seeds and coconut flakes are just going to add some really good texture to the power bowl and just pump up the protein and all the good nutrients. And then I'm going to just sprinkle on some blueberries. I think adding a fresh fruit is good too because it kind of balances out and gives it that little extra bit of sweetness. So a little less than half of a cup of frozen blueberries but you can do as much as you want you can do whatever fruit you want because of course fruit is zero points on all plans and then lastly i'm just going to add a little bit of cinnamon just right over the top and there's our oatmeal power bowl you guys i'm telling you what a fabulous breakfast and this is a large bowl very filling i'm going to be pairing mine again with just a hard-boiled egg with maybe some everything but the bagel seasoning on it but what a fantastic clean eating filling and really actually low point breakfast option. So there you have it, a five minute oatmeal power bowl. For lunch this week, I'm going to be making a mango chicken wrap. I'm really excited about this. It's going to be spicy from the salsa, but sweet with the mango. And I get to use my new tortillas. So let me show you what's in my lunch. You're going to need some salsa of your choice. I have this in the fridge, so I didn't buy any other salsa. I would much prefer organic because tomatoes are on the dirty dozen, but I didn't want to waste this. So I'm going to use this up. Also, you'll need some chicken breast. This came from Butcher Box. So I decided to go ahead and order a Butcher Box just with meat being hard to find in the grocery store, especially good organic grass fed, grass finished meat is really hard to find. You guys, I love the Butcher Box. It is a fantastic, fantastic deal. You can select what comes in your box. We're not pork eaters. So I did a lot of chicken and red meat and hamburger and it is the best meat and it is so incredibly affordable. I love it. I signed up to continue to get the butcher box. The next time one comes, I'll definitely share it with you guys. But before I shared it, I wanted to make sure that I felt like it was good quality meat and a good value. And it most definitely is. I do have a link down below for $30 off of your first butcher box. It's not an affiliate link. It's just $30 off for you. I use someone else's when I signed up for the butcher box, but it's awesome. I love it and their meat is exceptional. So I'm gonna be using some of this organic chicken breast from my butcher box. Definitely check it out, especially right now when just good quality meat is really hard to find. And then you'll need some lettuce. So I'm just gonna do this organic romaine chopped up lettuce from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna use my new tortillas, my Siete almond flour tortillas. I'm so excited to try these, you guys. The ingredients on these are absolutely perfect. Almond flour, tapioca flour, water, salt, xanthan gum. That's it. They are three smart points per tortilla. So they're only one point more than my La Victoria, which also, ha or La Tortilla, I'm sorry, which also has amazing ingredients. But I really wanted to try these. They are grain-free, non-GMO, gluten-free, super, super excited to have those. And then we need a big mango because we're gonna add some mango to our wrap. So let's get started on lunch. So I'm gonna cook my chicken in my Instant Pot. I think it's gonna be the fastest way to get the chicken cooked with the least amount of cleanup. So in my Instant Pot, I'm going to go ahead and spray the bottom with some of my nonstick cooking spray. I just don't want the chicken to stick to the bottom of the Instant Pot. And then I'm going to add in my chicken. This pack is one huge chicken breast, which is, I mean, it's a big, big chicken breast. It's going to be plenty. And then I'm going to add in what's left here of my salsa. And I'm just going to put that on top. So basically we're kind of making a salsa chicken in our Instant Pot. And then when it is done cooking, we'll go ahead and shred it up. So I'm just gonna get this started for about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my mango while the chicken is in the Instant Pot. The best way to cut a mango, and this is a trick that I found on YouTube actually, is to go ahead and slice your mango, and then you're going to take a glass, slide your glass in the bottom of your piece of mango, and slide it through. Now the riper the mango, the easier it'll slide through. Unfortunately, my mango is not that ripe. I actually just bought this two days ago, but it still works really, really well. And look at that, a perfect piece of mango. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my mango done and set aside and we'll cut this into strips for our wraps. <music> so 
So we have our mango all sliced up with the glass. It's seriously, you guys, super good hack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just slice my mango into just some strips and we'll put it back here in the bowl and throw it in the refrigerator while our chicken continues to cook. And then we aren't going to assemble the wraps entirely just because we'll do that when we go to eat them, but I'm gonna show you what they look like. So I just popped the lid off. This looks so good, you guys. I'm going to let it cool for just a couple minutes. Then we're gonna just shred this up with some forks really fast. So the chicken is done. Look at that. Doesn't that look super good? So I'm going to put together the components of my wrap here. So in my meal prep container, in the small side, I'm going to put one third of the chicken. So this chicken is enough for three wraps. The rest of the days of the week, I'll just have something else. You guys know I'm following the purple plan this next week. So I wanted to show you guys a few different options because I'm filming a what I eat in a week on the purple plan. So excited to do that and see how it goes. So I'm going to leave myself a couple of days to create a different lunch, maybe share something different and unique with you guys. So I'm only going to put together three of the wraps. So in the small compartment, I have one third or about one third here of the chicken. Pretty darn close anyways. And then in the big side, I'm going to put together some little baggies of the lettuce, the mango slices, and then one of my siete tortillas. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a sandwich size Ziploc bag and I'm going to put in some of my romaine lettuce now these almond flour wraps They're pretty small So we're not going to be able to get in a ton of the ingredients So this is kind of a lot for the wrap. So I'm going to put my Lettuce in a small bag and really not very much maybe about a half of a cup of the green lettuce And then I'm going to divide my mango by three. So there's my lettuce so it's about as much as I think we'll be able to fit. And then I'm going to do the mango slices divided by three. So I'm just gonna put in a handful here of the mango slices. I'm actually really darn excited for this. I love mango. And again, I think the combo of the sweet of the mango and the spicy of the salsa is gonna be so good. So there are the mango slices. And then let me show you so here is the size of the tortillas. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. So these are about the size of a corn tortilla, I would say. So there it is in my hand. So I'm going to put one of those in the meal prep container as well, just kind of, actually, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to just pull my tortilla out as needed. So uh, if you are taking this to lunch, you could just put this separate. I just don't want it to crack. So I'll just pull one out as needed. So I'm going to put one tortilla, fill it with the mango, the chicken, and the lettuce, and that is going to be my mango chicken wrap. So I'm gonna put together the other two meal prep containers, and I'll be back to share the total lunch and give you the smart points. So here is my lunch prep. I'm so excited about this. You guys will actually see these wraps put together during my what I eat in a week on the purple plan because this will be my lunch three of those days. So you'll get to see how these are put together. I didn't wanna waste anything by putting it together just for the video, but you can get the general idea. I'm going to take one almond wrap, fill it with the salsa chicken, mango, and lettuce. So what's really cool is this entire lunch is zero points with the exception of the tortilla on both the blue and purple plan. And it is only two points on the green plan because you have to count for the chicken. And now the tortilla that I'm using is three smart points. You could use a one or two smart point tortilla and lower it even more. I'm okay using this one because the ingredients, I'm super excited to try it. I've heard it is delicious. So for me, this is a three smart point lunch. Now I'll probably pair this with maybe an additional fruit or I may have some of my butternut squash pretzels or even some siete chips. I'm not sure yet. Again, you guys will see that in the what I eat in a week on purple video, but this is the clean eating mango chicken wraps for the week. Cannot wait. For 
snack this week. I'm going to be making banana granola bars. So I'm gonna do a homemade granola bar. I've been getting a lot of requests to make homemade breakfast cookies, granola bars, protein bars, that type of thing, so you can control the ingredients and therefore you're controlling the points. So I'm going to do just that. And what is amazing about this granola bar recipe is these are no bake. So it makes it really easy, quick, easy to put together. You throw them in your freezer, you cut them into bars, and you have a homemade clean eating granola bar. So let me show you what's in these bars. First, you're going to need some rolled oats. Again, these are the organic rolled oats from the Thrive Market. Pumpkin seeds, cocoa or cacao powder, whatever you have on hand. Dried cranberries. I'm gonna be using these Patience Fruit and Company. These are sweetened with apple juice. They have perfect ingredients. Super excited to try these. I also purchased these off of the Thrive Market. You'll need some maple syrup, nut butter of your choice, either two large bananas or three small bananas, some sunflower seeds, and last but not least, lilies or any type of chocolate chip. So let's get started on these banana granola bars. So the first thing we're going to do is take our three bananas. I go ahead and just kind of squish them like I showed you in the oatmeal uh, in the rind here, peel, I guess I should say, of the banana. It just helps them smash up a bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my three bananas, and then I'm just going to take my fork and mash those up. Once you've mashed up your bananas, we're gonna add in our wet ingredients aka our two tablespoons of maple syrup i went ahead and weighed that out on my food scale that's going to give you the most accurate measurement and then my two tablespoons or 28 grams also weighed out on my food scale of the trader joe's organic peanut butter it's just plain peanut butter peanuts and salt no added additional ingredients so i'm going to go ahead and add that and i'm going to give this just a quick mix here with my fork before we add in the dry ingredients oh this looks so good you guys yum all right so i'm going to go ahead and add in my cacao powder i have three teaspoons you can do between two and four teaspoons of the cacao powder. I wanted these to be a little more chocolatey, plus there is a lot of nutritional benefit in cacao powder, so I thought that that would be a good a little addition to my granola bars here. So added that cacao powder. Now we're ready to add the rest of our ingredients. So I have one cup of my organic rolled oats. I have 28 grams of Lily's chocolate chips. I just weighed those out on my food scale. I have one quarter cup of pumpkin seeds and one quarter cup of raw unsalted sunflower seeds and then look at these cranberries these are the patients ones from thrive they're whole which is amazing but i'm going to go ahead because they are so big i'm going to go ahead and just use my kitchen shears and just cut them up into smaller pieces and then that way i will get a little bit more cranberry in my bars because this isn't very much this was weighed out on my food scale and is basically two tablespoons weight wise of the whole cranberries. So next time I probably would buy the kind of cut one similar to a craisin, but this is gonna just take a couple of seconds just to chop these up. So I'll get them chopped and then we're ready to mix together the rest of the bar ingredients. So cranberries are in, we're gonna give this a mix. Once we add all these dry ingredients, we'll have a much stiffer consistency to our granola bars. And then we're going to add these to a pan and pop them into our freezer for about an hour or until they're frozen solid and then we'll cut them into bars. I can't wait, you guys. This looks so delicious, oh my goodness. So you could skip the cocoa or cacao powder if you didn't want a chocolate flavored bar, but I thought what goes better with bananas than chocolate? So let's get these in a pan and into the freezer. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my pan really good with some nonstick spray just so that my bars don't stick. This is just the Chosen Foods avocado one, has no flavor. And then I'm going to add in my granola bar mixture. Oh, you guys, I am really excited about these. And the points on these are really good, much lower than most granola bars. So that's exciting as well. And again, we were able to control our ingredients. We know exactly what is in here. I was thinking a nice addition to this, maybe a little bit of pink salt, just to bring out the 
sweetness. The pink salt sometimes will really help bring out the sweetness, but I did not do that next time. I most certainly will. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these spread out. We'll get this covered with some saran wrap and get this into the freezer for about an hour. And then once they are hardened, we'll go ahead and cut them into our bars. But these are gonna be good size bars. And again, fantastic ingredients and even more fantastic smart points. All right, so I just pulled out the granola bars. I had one. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. They are so sweet. They're chocolatey. You can taste the banana, and then you get that little bit of sour or that punch from those cranberries. So good, you guys. So incredibly delicious. So this is the size of the granola bar. So this is the size of bar that I had. These are four smart points on both the blue and green plan, which you guys, most traditional granola bars are six to eight. So that's a fantastic deal. This is a good sized granola bar, clean ingredients, and it is only three points on the purple plan. So one of these big bars, three or four smart points, depending on the plan that you're following. So I'll definitely be eating these throughout the week. They're amazing. Highly, highly recommend. So here are my snacks for the week. Again, I am going to be following the purple plan for the next five days, which we're amidst that right now. It's day one of me following the purple plan. So my snacks are geared a little more towards that, but I'll give you the points for all the plans. So first I have a built bar. As always, I like to have these as a snack option. These are great on days that I work out or do jazzercise. They give me that little pump of protein, fiber and fat. So they keep me full and satisfied and they taste absolutely amazing. So I pulled out a couple different kinds. I have the peanut butter bar, which is a nut-based bar. So all of the nut-based built Bars are four smart points. With the exception of the coconut almond, it is three. But your peanut butter, your peanut butter brownie, toffee almond, those are all going to be four smart points. So I have these ones on the days that I'm a little extra hungry and need that little extra bit of protein because these have 20 grams of protein, seven fiber, and seven fat. So for that extra point, you get quite a pump of protein and fat, which keeps you full. So I have those. And then on the days that maybe I'm not as hungry, these are the OG, the original Built Bars. These, This one is double chocolate mousse. I love this one, especially warmed up in the microwave for a couple seconds, amazing. So these actually have 15 grams of protein, seven fiber and four fat. So they have the same fiber, but five less grams of protein and three less grams of fat. But these ones are three smart points. So just kind of depending on my mood, how much of sati satiation I need in my working out, what is my agenda for the day, is determines the Built Bar that I'll choose. I do have 10% off for Built Bar. My code is here on the screen for you guys. If you are brand new to Built Bar, you have a very special link just for you where you can get $10 off your first order, which is a killer deal. So if you've never ordered from Built Bar or you have a different email address, than you've used in the past, you can take advantage of the $10 off. Just click that special link down in the description box. So love me some Built Bars. And because it's purple, I need popcorn. So I picked up these tiny but mighty unpopped kernels heirloom popcorn. So I'll show these to you. They look a little bit different than your traditional popcorn kernel. What is awesome about these is they don't get stuck in your teeth because they don't have that shell of popcorn. I guess shell might not be the right word, but you guys know what I'm talking about. You always wanna make sure you pick up your popcorn non-GMO, otherwise it is going to be made, uh, sprayed with GMO. It's going to be a GMO corn crop and we don't necessarily want that. So I picked these up. So my plan is to pop this popcorn and add a little bit of nutritional yeast to it to give it that yummy cheesy popcorn. So excited, you guys will definitely see this in an upcoming video, but I grabbed some heirloom popcorn and then I have been loving my smoothies, but you guys, I have found two absolutely amazing protein powders that I wanna share with you guys. We'll talk more about these in my video on the Purple Plan as well. But first is the Terra's Whey Grass-Fed Organic Whey Protein, 21 grams of protein in two scoops. It is two smart points for two scoops. And you guys, this protein powder is absolutely divine it has a perfect consistency it's not chunky at all it gives you 21 grams of protein it has absolutely phenomenal ingredients like really really good ingredients 
really good ingredient. So I am excited about that. It's made with stevia. I've been really liking this with fruit in my smoothie. Again, I'll show you a fun, couple fun recipes throughout that Purple Plan video, but I highly recommend Tara's Way if you're looking for a great vanilla-based protein powder that is a little less points than the Less Naked Way. I'll link this down below for you guys. I buy mine at Thrive because it is $6 a container less on Thrive than anywhere else. On Amazon, this is about $33. On Thrive, this is $24.99. So I will make sure that I link the Thrive link below for you guys. And there's also a link down there to join Thrive if you aren't already. And you can save $6 just on this one product from there. Love this protein. And then you guys, this is amazing as well. This is the Primal Kitchen Collagen Fuel. So this is peanut butter collagen peptide drink mix. So this is not a protein powder per se, but I love adding this to a smoothie. Oh my gosh, with a banana and milk. It's like a peanut butter banana deliciousness. So I love this. Again, you can have one scoop for two smart points. You're still getting 11 grams of protein, even though this isn't necessarily a protein powder. It has fabulous ingredients. You're getting that little kick of collagen. This is non-dairy, supports healthy hair, skin, and nails, primal, paleo, and keto friendly, no gluten, grain, whey, or soy, which is amazing, and no filler. So as Bobby on Flav City says, no filler, all thriller. So this stuff is amazing. I will link this down below for you as well. I can't wait to order several other flavors now that I know how great this is. So those are kind of my smoothie go-tos, some popcorn, of course, and some Bilt Bars. So these are my snacks for the week. Thank you for joining me for another weekly My WW Meal Prep. Are you as excited about these recipes as I am? Because all of them look so good. We are talking whole, real, clean food, WW friendly on all plants, especially if you are following the purple plan. They're extremely low smart points. So again, I'm going to incorporate these into this next week, which is my five days on the purple plan. And I can't wait to report back with how it all goes. So definitely stay tuned for that. All of these recipes will be on my website. The link to my website is down in the description box. Also in the description box, you will find the link to head on over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join us over there. It's such a wonderful, positive and supportive community and the links and discount codes to all of my favorite things. I've been getting a lot of questions on my necklace here that I'm wearing that has my name on it. I actually was given this as a gift, but I'll link it down below for you guys. And there's a discount or a sale going on right now. I'll link that as well. It's so pretty. It has my name on it. It's sterling silver and it's super affordable, especially with the discount. So that'll be linked down below as well. So other than that, check out the description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you love meal preps. And if you're new, I'd love it if you'd stick around. Hit that little subscribe button and that bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I'd love to have you be part of my community here on YouTube. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch today's meal prep. Stay tuned for that What I Eat in a Week on Purple and check out my website for all the recipes. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.